This is going to be a short tutorial on how to make a stethoscope. It is part of two of my characters that I'm going to be doing, a doctor and a paramedic, and I wanted to make a separate tutorial so you didn't have to watch one in order to make it for the other. So without any further ado, we are going to be using a standard rainbow loom in the aligned configuration and we'll be using black bands and gray bands. And we're going to get started with black bands and I don't know if anybody is as neurotic as I am but I save bands that I've used before that can't be used again for a regular project like ones that have been double looped or looped but have lost their shape for just a purpose such as this where they need to be double looped as these do for the stethoscope. So for the stethoscope we are going to use single black bands and they will all be doubled. So we're going to take our first black band, double it, and we are going to go down the right side four times. So each single band will be doubled. And we need to do this four times going down the right side. And our fifth band, we are going to double and place from the fifth peg on the right to the sixth peg in the center. We're going to do the same thing on the left side, double loop our single black band, and we're going to go down four times. And in case you're wondering, yes, my husband has told me that he believes I have some hoarding tendencies because I also save all of the broken bands that I have for purposes such as facial hair or straw or anything I may decide to use it for. And again, the fifth band will go from the fifth peg on the left to the sixth peg in the center. And now we're going to go down the center with a single double looped black band, again four times. Now we'll move to our gray bands. We are going to take two gray bands and cap this last peg by wrapping them three times around the peg. And now we're ready to loop. We're going to reach inside the cap band and remember our bands are doubled so they're going to be a little bit tight so you want to do this carefully and we are going to loop up making sure that we form our teardrop or raindrop shape and when we get to the center pin we're going to reach in and grab the top two bands which are going over to the left and we can continue looping up the left side Again, making sure that we have both bands and that we're forming the teardrop shape as we go. And believe it or not, I have found several uses for both my stretched out bands that I keep and my broken bands in my looming projects. So not is all lost. Once we're done looping, we're ready for our slip knots and we're going to take a single gray band, reach down inside this top peg, grab a hold of our band and pull it through and form our slip knot. 
and we want to give this a little tug and we're going to do the same thing on the other side reach down inside making sure we've got all of the bands grab a hold of our gray band pull it up through and form our slip knot and now we can remove this from the loom and again you want to be careful taking this off because the bands are doubled and you don't want them to break. Once we have this off the loom, we want to take the loop of our slip knot band and we are going to wrap it around the end of our stethoscope as many times as it takes to get it tightly secured there. And I haven't been counting, so just as many times as you think so that it will stay on and form a nice gray ring around the top of the end of the stethoscope. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're just going to keep crossing it over and wrapping it around. And that time I did count, and I believe I wrapped that eight times. So I want to slide these up to the end. And next we want to take a broken gray band. And I happen to have a very fine tip crochet hook. And I'm going to insert my hook, grab a hold of one end of this gray band, and pull it through. And we just want to pull it through a little bit, so I'm going to slide it back out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the other end. And you want to make sure that you're doing not the end with the cap band, but the end that you've wrapped your gray bands around. So again, I'm going to put my hook through some of the black bands at the top, grab the end of my gray band, and pull it through the center. And we can pull that back. And this should be tight enough to hold by itself, so you shouldn't have to tie these on, but if you would feel more comfortable tying them, you can. I'm just going to leave them. And this is our stethoscope charm. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to comment below. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I may come up with more uses for this stethoscope or more characters that need it. And uh, so you'd want to Stay tuned so you can find out what they are. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.